team covering the cruise industry. Here's your cruise news with John King. <clears throat> Hello, I'm John Keen, and welcome to Cruise News. It's been an extraordinary week in the cruise industry. Let's get right to today's headlines. Royal Caribbean is known for building incredible and innovative ships, and now they've decided to take that innovation and expand on their shore excursion activities for passengers. Stop in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, and try your hand at waterboarding. Your excursion's free if you actually get some valid information. On a port stop in Nassau, be sure to try the get out of the straw market maze. Join your fellow cruisers and see how long it takes you to find your way out. Fun for the whole family. Staying with Royal Caribbean, the line is moving the Voyager of the Seas back to New Orleans after a three-year hiatus. Come to find out, they really miss that bar revenue that a good New Orleans crowd can provide. Well, well, the Alaska cruise season started this week with Holland America Line Zondam sailing into Vancouver. Holland also has a new ship coming out for that same New Orleans crowd. They're calling it the Condom. <laughs> if you've cruised the Caribbean recently, you probably visited one of the cruise line's private islands. This concept started in 1977 with Norwegian Cruise Line's Great Stirrup K and quickly grew with Royal Caribbean, Holland America Line, Princess, and Disney getting into the private island game. Most recently, Costa Cruise Lines has purchased one. They call it Italy. <laughs> Norwegian Cruise Lines, which is known for its innovation, is pushing the boundaries once again by putting an ice bar on their new ship, the Norwegian Epic, coming out this summer. Just a couple words of instructions here. Do order the Russian vodka. I hear it's amazing. And don't put your tongue on the bar. <laughs> and finally, P&O Cruise Lines recently appointed its first female captain of one of its cruise ships, the first time ever in the line's 173-year history. The crew is pretty much excited about this new captain, although they do worry that PMS on board will now stand for more than just Princess Maritime <laughs> Services. Well, our time again has sailed away. From all of us here at Cruise News, good night. And remember, it's good to be the keen.